Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy. We back at it, man, with some Mad 17. It is week seven, and man, I am so pissed off. The NFL season has finally started. My Eagles got a win, baby. We got Carson Wentz out here getting these wins, but I'm also earning these gold coins. Now, check this out. I'm pretty mad because I started my season prior to all the changes that will happen in the beginning of the season. And before the NFL season could even start, Sam Bradford has been shipped off to the Vikings. And ironically, I am playing the Vikings tonight. So it's pretty funny because Sam Bradford is not going to be in purple and gold. And Carson Wentz is not going to be in our starting lineup. So I do have a question for you guys. Would you like me to start over my wide receiver? Or would you like me to create a new character after I'm done with this wide receiver? You know what I'm saying? I, my plan was to be the best wide receiver in the league. And oh, god damn, count them ankles. But uh, my, my best player is this wide receiver right now, man. Like he is like the man. Like I, I feel like my QB couldn't do nothing that this wide receiver could do. It just feels so good when you can burn the defender and Look at that goddamn pick. What, what's up with this man? What's up with Sam Bradford? We already down three points. He out here throwing picks. Like these dudes darn there was in the red zone. You know they scored. You know they got seven points. But my question is to you guys, do you want me to create a new character with the new rosters? Or do you want me to start over with my wide receiver? I really don't want to start over with my wide receiver. But I wouldn't mind creating like a, a fullback or maybe another wide receiver or something like that with some new rosters. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll name the, the joint like updated rosters or something like that. I don't know. But let's get back into the gameplay, man. Sam Bradford's out here begging the team, please don't crucify me, man. I didn't mean to get them picks. Now, your boy is going long. You already know what time it is, man. He throwing it up, and I pressed that rat bull crap, and that's why I slowed down. See, somebody was in the comment section talking about, yo, bro, why you don't just press square, bro? You know what I'm saying? You going to be able to, you know, get a couple yards after you catch. Bruh, I pressed the square button, and I slowed down, and my defender was able to catch up to me. That don't make no sense. I was burning him. As soon as I press square, I slowed down. That's why I don't press none of that stuff. All them prompts and all that bull crap that pop up on Madden, I don't be pressing that. I let my legs do the talking. You feel me? I let my golden feet do the talking. Now, check this out. Your boy about to put some moves on real quick. Oh, spin move. Got a body. Break a tackle. And yeah, um, see what happened was I was supposed to break that tackle, but the way 59 was set up. He was mad brolic, so I just decided, you know what, chill. Now, I come over on a nice little cross, and the crazy thing is, Ertz is, I'm telling you, he's a beast, bro. Like, I'm trying to tell you, dog, Ertz be out here getting it, man, putting the moves on dudes, bullying dudes. Look at this, another catch. Look at me blocking. Look at that upfield action, baby. Ertz, man, you got to believe in him, man. I believe in my team, man. As a wide receiver, you kind of have to because there's nothing else that you can do, but... I do believe that that motion right there is going to get me some yards. So I move over in motion, come on, cross on the slant, catch the ball, and yes, another one. Another first down. It took four people to take me down. I'm a beast. Now, we are in the red zone. You know what I'm saying? We're about like maybe six or seven yards out. And I'm just, you know, calling a couple different uh, set motions and all that bull crap. And I cut across the middle, and I do not know how number 20 didn't pick that off. I'm guessing he was like kind of, I guess, like let me let me look at this play, look at the replay. Like how did how did nobody pick that off? Like I don't know, I, I just don't get it. Maybe he was just you know looking at a chick in the crowd or scratching his ass. I don't I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> but it is 17 to seven. We need a miracle right now. Now you guys see that I have this nice little route right here. I decided to come in motion because I feel like I could do something just a little bit closer, man. Try to get the defense broken up. Now right here, man, you guys see that they do not call on me just because of the whole coverage. But the miracle did happen. You know what I'm saying? We ended up still getting a touchdown. I was not involved in that play. I didn't even block for anybody. But let's see who Sam Bradford actually threw it to. Okay, cool. So he threw it to Randall. Randall cut up the middle and easily, easily got a touchdown. Nobody even on his heels. That's what I'm talking about. Look at him doing my shimmy. Everybody want to do my shimmy, dog. But let's take a moment to shout out Ertz real quick. Look at Ertz, dog. Look at that boy. That boy, nice, boy. Number 86, nice. Look at him. Mm. Let's go ahead and cut out. Ooh, you see the catch? Get up off me, yo. He... Yo, he did not just burrow down two guys like that, bro. Like, this man is nice. Slaying across the middle. Get up off me. Get up off me. 
God, that boy Ertz is something serious, bro. But it's 17 to 14 right now. And another miracle is about to happen. Another one. Another one. Another one. Bruh. See, see what I'm saying? See, see what happens? Do you see what happens? Sam Bradford just, he ain't the man, bro. He is not the man. But we currently in the third man starting it off. Uh, just to let you guys know, we did tie the game up with a nice little uh, field goal at the end of the second. Just to let y'all know, it was, them two seconds on the clock was crucial. But check this play out right here, man. This is why I don't have to press square, bro. If I would have pressed square, my dude would have never burnt him. He would have not burnt him, fam. Some way, somehow, the ball would have got stuck in the air. And he would have caught up to me. Look at the distance, the space, the gap. That's insane. That's how fast my wide receiver is. That's how nice I am. Check out the pylon cam, cuz. You got to be shitting me. <laughs> but uh, it is currently third and 12, man. We need a miracle right here, man. We got to move the chains. We got to put something on the scoreboard. I decided to go in motion. I cut across the middle, and they spot me, baby. I told you guys I'm not pressing square. Hit him with the spin move. Hit him with another spin move. God damn. Boy, call me Twinkle Toes. Let Booby spin, baby. Let us spin. Look at that. 1,000 receiving yards this season, bro. We only in week seven. God damn. Now, I know you guys told me to turn up the difficulty, man. I will be trying all Madden soon. But I'm telling y'all, man, this all pro ain't nothing to be played with, man. The Vikings is in the game. It's 24 to 24. Like, how harder do these matches have to get? But them spins was crazy. Now, it's third and four. We try to move the chains to get in the end zone. I go in motion, man. I got to expose this guy right here, and guess what happens? While we're in motion, I pull a rookie mistake and get a flag, bro. Instead of calling the timeout, instead of realizing the play clock was running down that big behind red box on my screen, I effed up all the way, bro. So now it's third and nine. Don't know how we going to get in the end zone. Don't know what we going to do. So I just decided, you know, to do a little hitch route here. Cut out to the outside, and I ended up controlling my other player by mistake. And the pass was dropped in the end zone. So it's 27 to 24. Of course, you know, on fourth down, they ended up kicking the field goal. And right now, I'm just trying to run the clock out as much as I can, man. I'm telling y'all right now, the two clock is my go-to move right now. Now, they haven't used any timeouts because we're not at the two-minute warning, but we have to move the chains. And guess what? A flag was thrown on a play, and you guys won't believe who the flag was on, bruh. Third and 18. Desperation play. We're only up three points. Holding on the defense, bro. Don't know how it happened, but it's only five yards. But we ended up getting a little bit of yards on that play. So we ended up declining that. Your boy putting the moves on. Come on, a nice little slant. Get up off me. But he had to bring his homies. You know what I'm saying? He had to bring up his homies. That's how, that's how it always go down, man. It's at least three to four people will tackle me at every go, man. Nobody ever just single tackles me or nothing like that, man. They always bring their homies to the fight. Now, this right here is where I chew clock. And Ryan Matthews on first and 20 gets it to second and nine. It's just like him running a one yard off the first down, man. So, you already know what time it is, man. Minnesota has to call another timeout. They only have one left. We still have all three. And guess what? We going back with the run. Now, they're telling us that we can't run anywhere. So, I decided to come in motion just to free a few things up on the other side. And no blocking whatsoever from your boy. But we do get a few small yards. They And they do end up using their last timeout. So, it's pretty good. Man, it's 27 to 24, and I noticed something. I said, Hold the fuck up, your boy ain't on the field. If you want to get this first down, your boy needs to be on the field. So I called that instant timeout right there. I know Sam Bradford was probably like, Bruh, finally, that nigga off the field. I can't stand his ass. But nah, man, I'm back on the field, back calling these plays, calling these shots. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, the play got to go to your boy. And what has been working all game, if you've been watching this video the right way, the slants. The slants have been working, 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 working. So I got to run a slant play here. It's only right, man. I'm not the option here, but some way, somehow, I'm going to be the option. Your boy goes in motion. You know what I'm saying? Making sure that I'm in the best position possible. Hit him with a nice little cut. And I'm open, baby. First down, fighting for yards. And guess what? Tackle by four more people. You know what I'm saying? They can't hold your boy. You know what I'm saying? They can't hold me. You see you. Flexing on him, baby. Check out the replay. Un. Kill him. Ooh. Got him. 
ooh, you don't want me. <laughs> them dudes look like a, they just mash up against each other. Look at this. Ah, take them down. But that is the end of the game. Tightly contested. This is two games in a row that is tightly contested. Not no big lead. I mean, I put up yards this game. You know, don't get me wrong. But it was tight, man. When you don't play defense and all you can do is believe in them and just pray, 27 to 24 is the final score, man. Insane, bro. And Sam Bradford over there hugging his future teammates. I'm just so mad that this gameplay is like this, man. I would have loved to see Carson Wentz go up against Sam Bradford. But, you know, watching Teddy is pretty good because Teddy put up a couple numbers, man. But check out the highlights here, man. You know, a little bit of spin moves. Let Booby spin, baby. You know what I'm saying? I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know what I'm saying? I got more Madden coming for you guys, man. For all you guys that like that Madden out there, I'm going to try to keep this Madden alive, man. I'm going to try my best, man. Yo, how many times have I said I'm about to make these Madden videos and just stop on y'all? It's been, it's been plenty of times, but I promise y'all, man, this season, this Madden 17, I'm here, baby. I'm here. But I want to thank you guys for watching again. Check out the yards put up, man. 144 yards by Teddy. Let's get it, man. Peace. Thanks for watching this Madden 17 video. If you want to check out the previous video, you can go ahead and click on that annotation right now. If you want to check out more episodes from this series, you can go ahead and click the link and you'll go straight to the playlist. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Hit me up on YouTube. Um, follow me on Twitch as well. And I want to thank you guys for watching. See you next video.